Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's Dina and today is Transformation Thursday. What do I want to say about that? Dina's in a better place? Because she is. Gina's back to normal? Kinda. Gina's still having a few health issues? A little bit. A little bit. But does she feel better? She does. So, as far as weight is concerned, she is down one and a half pounds. She had a good week. I uh, kind of stunk it at tracking. Well, I showed that on last week's um, planner pages. So I didn't do that this week, but a lot more conscious of what I'm eating, mainly because sugar is just really affecting me poorly. I've been trying with all of my might to avoid it. Um, Tuesday, I went to Target and did some grocery shopping and on my way in I was like dying of thirst and I didn't want an iced tea which was right there in the parking lot which is what I should have got because it's what I drink every day I go to McDonald's and get an extra large iced tea extra ice no sugar no I went to Sonic because it was between two and four and got a medium um, what are they called um, cherry limeade <laughs> full of sugar well I drank about maybe half of it through that whole trip in Target and I was dying I mean like I text my husband and I was like I don't feel well I don't feel right and he and then of course my phone was off because I, I had an interview that morning and I still had my phone on silent, so when he got off work and tried to call me, and he already knew I wasn't feeling well because I told him I wasn't feeling well, he got home and was so mad at me because he couldn't get a hold of me. He said he tried to call three times. That's not good. So, pound and a half. It's a good day for Gina. It's a good day. A mighty good day. It's a good day to serve the Lord. Yeah. Um, I'm reading again uh, Prayers and Promises for Moms. That's kind of what I picked up this past couple of days. Just two days. Not really the whole week. Um, but I was reading... Um, it's talking about pride. And Gina's... Gina needs to give it up to the Lord, and we know that. I still am having some trouble taking the hands off the reins and letting the Lord, you know, do his business. We all know that. I, I have some trouble with that. But um, I'm just going to read you this one little, this one little excerpt right here. And it's on pride. And it says, uh, let God lift you up. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and he, and he shall lift you up. James 4 and 10. Okay, so this is what it says. It says, Lord Jesus, in this world, honor and reward play a big part in our lives. We do things to look good in the eyes of other people. We gloat when we are praised. Of course, to some extent, working toward this praise is a good motivational tool. But there's a danger in it uh, in the focus of being mis if the focus in is misplaced it says i know it i know it's so much more important to be pleasing you you've given me many wonderful tasks and being a mother is one of my favorites however it also can be very humbling at times help me to do the job humbly and to rely on you that is what would please you most and that reward is the best motivator I could ask for. So I don't have kids at home. So if you exclude the middle little verse, which of course I'm always a mama, always need to be doing that. But what I what caught me the most was it said, um, "We gloat when we are praised." Now I can, oh, I don't know if it was gloating. I don't know if it was gloating, but this is totally where the Lord you know, slap me across the face with this today. Um, my 
cousin married a, a lady years ago, years and years ago. And so she became my cousin. Well, they're divorced now and she's married to someone else, but still we're very close to her. And her new husband came up to me at church um, maybe about a month ago and said, um, I never realized how, how good you sing. I never, I don't, I don't know that I've ever really heard you before. I said, I sing all the time. He said, yeah, but you don't sing by yourself. And I said, I do every altar service. And so I, instead of just taking the compliment, argued with him so long until he said, Gina, just take the compliment and turned around and left. So I took all the glory out of him giving me a wonderful compliment and turned it around to stupidness. And so I think what the Lord is trying to teach me is to be considerate of other people more. Because I wasn't trying to be boastful in it, but I was like, it was more like, do you not pay attention in the services? I was really kind of being mean. And that is not my character. Like, that is not who I am and what I'm about. But And I never even really thought that much about it because this whole exchange lasted about two minutes. I mean, that was like literally the whole conversation. But in reality, today, or the Lord is bringing it up like, couldn't you have just let the man give you you know, a compliment and said, thank you, I really appreciate it, instead of, I really don't even know what I was trying to do, other than, because I wasn't trying to make him feel stupid, and I wasn't trying to gloat, but I was seriously thinking, do you not listen? That's what I was thinking. Well, is it that the Lord's trying to tell me that I'm not listening? He's trying to get that across to me. I don't, I'm not really sure exactly where we're going with that. But that is what the Lord is trying to work on me right now and teaching me this week. And maybe it is that he's trying to help me and for me to listen to him in the choices that I'm making this week. Because that, I feel like on Mondays, uh, when I, on Monday when I was uh, reading, it was also about listening. Like maybe I'm not sitting back and standing still and listening to that still small voice. He's trying to um, like drill it into my head to listen. Just be still and listen. So that's what I think that I'm being taught this week um, because it's came up a couple of times. And if that can be um, a help to anyone, you know, I have lots, lots of material that I can talk to you about um, as far as, you know, standing still and letting the Lord have control and listening. And clearly I need it as well. I mean, clearly, because that's what he's trying, that's what he's drilling into my head this week. But um, yeah, there it is this week. And I did have a really good week and I hope you all have a blessed day and enjoy your families. Here we are up on another weekend, and yeah, I love Thursdays because they're my Fridays. <laughs> so, there it is. I hope you all have a great day. Bye-bye. God bless. So, I'm home, guys. I'm editing this video for tomorrow to release for Transformation Thursday, and I'm telling you, this listening business is... <laughs> really becoming a very, very pronounced um, learning lesson for me. And I just feel the need to share this little song to you, with you. I don't know who it's for. And you feel free to private message me or write in the comments or anything if this was something that you needed to hear. But I'm going to sing you a little excerpt of a song that we sing at church called Stand Still. Stand still and let God move. Standing still, it's hard to do. When you feel you have reached the end, he'll make a way for you. Stand still and let
let God move when the enemy surrounds you and the walls they're closing in and the tide it's swiftly rising and you wonder where he's been friend there never was a moment when his arms weren't reaching out and you can rest assured and be secure god is moving right now stand still and let god move standing still it's hard to do and when you feel you have reached the end he'll make a way for you stand still and let god move god bless